off the post, but um, that's still three. 501. Uh, we hope it's not too serious. Will Boyd has gone out into three quarter line. <laughs> James Botham fit enough to win the line out, and here is Boyd. Oh, was that? Were there any arms in that tackle? That might be worth a look again. Meanwhile, Cardiff in possession. The little dink forward. Lilo is there for it. No need to look at anything because Ray Lilo has scored the first try of the game. And that second phase, it was so well done. Louis Ludic actually makes the tackle. Louis Ludic never short of commitment. And that was no different. Knock him in there. They've been dictating the course of this game for the past few minutes. Cooney goes on his own. Another penalty awarded. Sam Grow White reaches for his pocket. And Ollie Robinson, number seven, heads for the bin. Into overtime at the end of the first half. Cooney going against. The natural run of the scrum, <laughs> it's gone loose. Larry comes to the right. My Larry, great pace. Oh, he made something out of very little. Then the fullback, good try. Time off. You know, he's just hunting for work, looking for space back inside. Ball, please, fella. Oh, he's judged it very well indeed. John Cooney, the Ulster lead grows beyond the single penalty. Four points, Ulster lead. Ethan McElroy has been excellent in the air. Replacement hooker, John Andrew, gets rid of the ball. The final whistle blows. And Ulster have done it again. The side that couldn't win away from home. Now go four out of four, including two away wins. Here at Rodney Parade in Newport, they have beaten the Cardiff Blues by 11 points to 7.